With his soulful vocals, poetic lyrics, and angelic good looks, Troy Sivan has quickly become one of the most compelling artists of his generation. And personally, I can say that I'm a huge fan. Born in South Africa, but raised in Australia, Troy first gained fame as a teen on YouTube, amassing millions of subscribers who were drawn to his covers of popular songs and original tracks like Youth, Rush, and Angel Baby. After signing a record deal, the singer-songwriter went on to release two acclaimed albums, Blue Neighborhood and Bloom, which showcase his raw emotionality and talent for crafting infectious pop and electronic anthems. He is also a great songwriter and he has great slow songs too. Beyond his music though, Troy is admired for bravely being open about his sexuality and standing up for LGBTQ rights. His lyrics frequently explore love, longing, and self-discovery. And there's an underlying warmth and sensitivity to both his songs and personality that makes his fans feel deeply connected to him. He might lead a jet-setting life of concerts and publicity, but Savon comes off as remarkably down-to-earth and genuine. Troy Savon is not your typical celeb, and his Melbourne home is no exception. He's chosen a serene neighborhood for his residence, a place far removed from the glitz and glamour often associated with stardom. His home, a Victorian style house, has a history as intriguing as the man himself. Built in 1869 as a handball court, it was later converted into a brick factory for Carlton in 1950, before being transformed into a residence in 1970 by renowned Australian architect John Mockridge. In 2020, it underwent a restoration by Flack Studio, Australia's leading interior design and architectural firm. The uniqueness of Troy's house lies in its commitment to preserving the historical character of the original home while infusing it with its own style, a blend of the 1970s bohemian elements of Melbourne. Troy's house is filled with sconces and other illuminations that create a subtle yet pleasurable setting, giving off a sense of peace. The ground floor welcomes you with an open space that spans three stories, adorned with a patio filled with flora native to Australia, California, and Japan, countries where Troy Savon has spent significant portions of his life. The ground floor includes a kitchen, dining room, living room, and a charming courtyard. The bathroom on the ground level was transformed into a rolling red powder room in the courtyard area to accommodate an in-house bathroom. Flax Studio added wide bifold doors to the dining area, connecting the interior to the patio and bathing the industrial building with natural light. The living room features a vintage Percival Lafer sofa, perfect for relaxing after a long day. The living room also extends out to the patio too, creating an indoor-outdoor flow. The dining table and wood cabinets in the kitchen were redesigned, creating a seamless connection between the industrial interior and the light and colorful garden with red clay bricks and black stainless steel fittings. Troy's house also serves as a home for his sister. The middle level house is her earthy toned bedroom and a guest bedroom, providing comfortable accommodations for other visitors as well. Additionally, you can find a second social room in a home office where the Australian pop art jots down his eye. The top floor is dedicated solely to Troy himself. Troy's bedroom and private bathroom are located on the third story of Victorian era, designed to provide him with the luxury of a spa-like tub. The aesthetics and relaxation here is paramount to Troy, as he has carefully crafted this space to be his sanctuary. It's a place where he can feel at home, surrounded by contemporary art pieces that stimulate his mind, as well as vintage furniture that complements his exquisite visual sense. A harmonious blend of warmth, luxury, and heartfelt design. It serves as his meditation space, a sanctuary away from the outside world, and he believes that everyone's home should be a place where they can truly relax and meditate. In stark contrast to the opulent lifestyles of many other celebrities, Troy Savon finds true happiness in the simplicity of his Melbourne home, filled with art, greenery, and cozy nooks. It's a beautiful space where his creativity and unique vision can come to life. Well, that's going to wrap up today's house tour. Answer this question for me before you go. Just like Troy dedicated the top floor of his home solely as a sanctuary, what does this share about the importance of self-care and personal space in a celebrity's life? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat. And if you'd like to see another pop star's homes, then stay tuned for this look into the homes of Ariana Grande. Bye.
million dollar home in the Bird Streets area of the Hollywood Hills and a historic getaway in Montecito has just bought another property. The home was sold to Ari from A-lister Cameron Diaz for almost $5 million, but details are on the scarce side. We know that the home overlooks the Sunset Strip and that it's a fairly simple, single level, mid-century house. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Ariana Grande is one of the biggest pop stars of the late 2010s, capturing the era's style and spirit along the way. The singer and actress was a Nickelodeon star at first, but in 2013 when she kicked off her music career, her powerhouse vocals were decidedly noticed. While her debut album had a 90s R&B sound, she quickly incorporated hip hop and pop into her music. Ariana has received a handful of awards and accolades over her career so far, including two Grammy Awards, as well as a net worth estimated in the $200 million range. While Ari previously had two homes in the Bird Streets neighborhood of LA, she sold her super contemporary one at the end of 2021 and maintained the nearby one which she purchased afterwards. Now the songstress has another extremely private property in Hollywood to add to her real estate portfolio. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today checking out the homes of Ariana Grande. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Also guys, if you are anything like me and find yourself always rushing around, you like doing your nails at home. Not to mention, I suck at painting my nails, but I recently discovered Nail Reserve and I love it. Now I can use the UV gel colors easily at home and when I get bored and I wanna change the shade, I can just peel them off. So it's easy on my nails and every time they look like I went to the salon. Nail Reserve recently rebranded as they used to be Nail Addict and if you would like to try their awesome products, I've posted a link in the description box to follow. You can also use my 50% off coupon code Kara, which is also down below. Now let's get into this video. Ariana Grande just added on to her real estate holdings with the purchase of a mysterious Hollywood home, sold to her by retired actress Cameron Diaz. Ari paid $4.9 million for this property, which directly overlooks one end of the Sunset Strip up in the Hollywood Hills, Los Angeles. It's next door to a house Cameron has owned since 2001, but hasn't lived at for over a decade. Since the deal was done off market, we don't have photos of Ari latest acquisition, but we know the lot spans over a half an acre of land and boasts a very modestly sized home on the property. The house is guarded by a large black gate as well as trees and tall hedges surrounding it to further enhance the privacy, while records show the home spans 1,798 square feet of space inside with two beds and 2.5 baths. By the sounds of it, the mid-century style house, which was originally built in 1950, is nothing special and most of the value actually lies in the lot itself, also boasting panoramic views of the city. Cameron got the house back in 2004 for $1.8 million, but it appears she never lived in the home and just bought it to add on to the main residence next door. In 2009, documents show plans were sent in to demolish the house and replace it with a much larger residence. However, that never happened and the original home remained. A bit more recently, in 20. 18, it showed Cameron gave the place a big makeover. Records revealed that the roof was replaced, as were all the windows, while she also had the kitchen enlarged, adding a powder room as well as remodeling the two bathrooms that also existed. While the property doesn't have a pool, there is space on the land to add one. It's too early to tell why Ariana bought the home or what she has in mind for the property, considering she already has her $9 million home in the Bird Streets neighborhood. But she could have bought it for a family member too. If not, maybe she will expand or redo the home to fit her tastes even further. In 2021, Ari bought the home she currently owns in the Bird Streets neighborhood of the Hollywood Hills. And while it was initially hypothesized that it was a teardown project for the star, more recent reports show the home was extensively renovated just before she moved in. Currently, the abode is a charming hideaway which blends contemporary and rustic styles. The pop star paid $8.9 million in an off-market deal for the home and records show the property is is made up of three attached land parcels on a steep hillside with gorgeous views. Not to mention, the lot spans about three quarters of an acre. The only 
structure on the lot at the time of purchase was a small cottage built in 1946 and spanning less than 1600 square feet with two beds and two baths. However, now we know that it was fancied up and modernized before Ari moved in. Like many celeb worthy homes, there's a long gated driveway and it's invisible from the street thanks to the hedges and trees surrounding it. The ultra private setting may just be the estate's most unique feature. Even considering this, from the hillside perch the home is on, it still boasts amazing views over the Sunset Strip, West Hollywood and beyond. Records also show the estate was in possession of the original owner for decades before being acquired by an investor in 2011 who paid only $2.3 million for it. The buyer held onto it for a decade before flipping it to Ariana, making themselves a ton of money in the process. Off to the side of the cottage, overlooking the city below is a large swimming pool and red brick patio. The lot size is rare for the tightly packed Hollywood Hills neighborhood and the property has plenty of space for a roomy mansion with amazing views. Ari might be well known for her motto of I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it, but clearly when she's done with whatever it is, she tosses it to the side. Much like the super contemporary home she purchased in 2020 for $13.7 million, which she decided to sell just about a year after in 2021 for exactly $14 million. Set high above Los Angeles' iconic Sunset Strip, this modern home was also in the area of the bird streets like the cottage we just checked out. Inside this home spans over 10,000 square feet of contemporary temporary space, four beds, and four baths. From the streets below, you can see the entire residence, and almost every room is on display too with walls of glass. The front entrance is only inches from the street and any pedestrians walking by. The house was minimalistic in design and made up of a lot of clean lines and angles with hardwood floors and 16-foot ceilings throughout. In most of the rooms, you'll also find floor-to-ceiling windows, allowing for a lot of natural light. From the street, large metal doors open up into an atrium that leads to an all glass front door and inside you'll find common living areas with walls of glass overlooking the hills. The expansive kitchen has designer appliances and custom cabinets as well as a double sided fireplace dividing the living and dining rooms. Ariana's former mansion covered three floors all with glass balconies and the fancy master suite covered the entire top level. Highlights here included a walk-in closet with track lighting, an ensuite with features like a rain fall shower, a lounge area, and a private terrace. Down on the lower level, there's what's called a cedar-lined wellness center, boasting a sauna, fully equipped gym, home theater, wine cellar, and a lavish bar perfect for sipping cocktails. Like most surrounding estates, the property didn't have much of a yard, but they did manage to squeeze in a large entertaining patio and, of course, an infinity-edged pool hanging over the hills. This L-shaped pool soaks in the amazing views of LA, and the entire property shows off views of the canyon city and ocean. When Ari isn't hanging out in the bird streets, she also bought a historic getaway home in Montecito, California off of Ellen DeGeneres last year for $6.75 million. This unique 5,500 square foot Tudor style home is known as the Porter House and is made up of two separate barns originally built in Surrey, England back in the 1700s. Porter House was painstakingly dismantled and rebuilt as a full home in California. Two structures are now linked together by a stunning glass enclosed solarium. The Tudor style residence boasts two beds, two full baths, two half baths, and the property has rare vintage furnishings throughout. There are also two gorgeous kitchens, one equipped with a top of the line glass fronted fridge. Some of the home's fairy tale like spaces include a massive living room, a uniquely shaped library with an antique casing windows, and a loft like den that overlooks the main living room with fireplace. The master bedroom here is also loft style, overlooking a second living room with fireplace. Finally, on the grounds of the historic home, there are perfectly landscaped and secluded gardens with stone pathways and brick terraces. Well, that's going to conclude our Ariana Grande house tour. After checking out her properties, what did you guys think? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. As usual, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!